Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. So the Nigerian uh, spokesperson who is the lead uh, majority guy within the Nigerian space has now come out to double down on the position of Malam Buhari that uh, Nigerians are better off than the people of uh, Saudi Arabia. Guys, I bring you this full price why Buhari compared Nigeria with Saudi Arabia. So a comment attributed to the federal government, who so of course you know already that it is Lai Mohammed that we're about to hear from. Uh, again, full price why Buhari compared Nigeria to Saudi Arabia headline attributed to the federal government so now let's now see what lai has to say the federal government says the comparison made by the president muhammadu buhari on the four prices between nigeria saudi arabia and other countries in its 2020 independence day national broadcast is justified minister of information and culture alaji lai mohammed made the submission when he featured on a radio nigeria current affairs program radio link on uh, saturday in abuja buhari said in his independence day broadcast that we sell petrol at 161 naira per liter when the same is sold at 168 naira per liter in saudi arabia 211 naira per liter in egypt 362 naira per liter in ghana 362 naira per liter in chad and 346 naira per liter in Niger republic it does not make sense for petrol to be cheaper in nigeria than saudi arabia a cross section of nigerians however criticized the president for making such a comparison without considering the minimum wage standard of living and infrastructure in saudi arabia in particular responding to the critics the minister said there was nothing wrong in making such a comparison some people have said why should we compare ourselves to saudi arabia with better infrastructures and higher wages our answer is very simple saudi arabia has 34 million people whilst nigeria has 200 million people saudi arabia produces 10 million barrels of crude oil per day whilst nigeria at its best produces 2.1 million barrels per day their population is about a sixth of nigeria's population and they are blessed with more resources therefore they can afford to pay higher wages and build infrastructure our argument must be put in proper perspective so that is Lai Mohammed, of course. So he carries on. So let's carry on with him. As we said, whatever money we make from the subsidy removal, we will invest in infrastructure development. He said, the minister commended organized labor for its understanding and patriotism in suspending its planned strike to protest the fuel uh, price deregulation and electricity tariff adjustment. He noted that the suspension of the strike by the Nigerian Labour Congress, the Trade Union Congress and their affiliates averted a national calamity. Mohammed said after spending sleepless nights engaging with organized labor, the two congresses agreed with the government that the fuel deregulation was inevitable. The moment we lost as much as 60% of our earnings and suffered a kind of shock in crude oil price, we must deregulate. Between 2006 and 2019, we paid 10.416 trillion in fuel subsidies, an average of 743.8 billion per annum, he lamented. The country right now cannot afford the subsidy regime, the minister stressed. So uh, that is Lai Mohammed for you, of course. I, I mean, uh, if uh, Lai Mohammed says good morning to you, you immediately open the door to see if the sun has indeed risen. Because, of course, this is a guy that is completely averse to the truth. This is a guy that was telling us that uh, Buhari was hale and hearty when the guy was in a uh, comatose state in a London hospital, etc. But anyway, that is the justification now that they have for this fuel subsidy 
uh, removal. So it looks as though it is fait accompli. They've paid off the trade unions, uh, so they've gotten their money, so they're okay. So the rest of you, uh, the Nigerian people, you suffer it. So it's suffering on top of suffering. So immediately the price of everything goes up, apart of course from your wages. Conversations in the comment section, uh, Nigeria does compare to Saudi Arabia, according to Lai Mohammed. What says you come share thoughts? But before you do that, click on the red subscribe button so it turns gray. Bell button notifies you every time I drop a new video. Click on like as well because that helps with the YouTube algorithm. Once you've done all the clickings, come tell me then what you're making of how this guy has uh, positioned his argument. So I'll leave you here. Carry this conversation on with you in the comment section. But here, I say, peace.